The people involved in the conversation are myself, Luke Yoder, Sean Woods, Jason Medina, Ty Coleman, and George Dingfelder. We came together about a year ago for the first time. And that was right after the murder of George Floyd. And not long after that, our country obviously was swept up in protest and talk about policing and talk about racial justice. I am totally okay with people protesting. I think that's that's what the Constitution allows. That's, you know, that's an essential right. However, I do draw the line when it comes to, for instance, taking a police building and taking it over and, and jeopardizing the safety of law enforcement officers. I still believe that damage and burning things down is, is to me not a, a peaceful protest. And so that's the one thing that kind of kind of bugs me. As far as um, the verdict, kind of like what uh, some of you have already commented on, it was uh, a sigh of relief to see the verdict because but coming from a person of color's perspective, it's, it's a sad state in America when you still have to have that doubt that fairness would be given in a particular case, even today. And I think if that, if that didn't happen and if it wasn't filmed and wasn't really out there, were we still taking steps backwards? There's been this massive um, reform across the country um, some of it warranted, some of it I don't necessarily think. Um, it's not that it's not warranted, um, some of it I think is a knee-jerk reaction to a lot of stuff that we've already been doing. That is a struggle that we're going to have to overcome, but we overcome those different struggles by making sure that justice is done all the time, not just sometime and not just one time.